Hi, I'm Sharifa Sharumsa, and you are listening to YB's Conversations with Authors podcast. Trading systems shouldn't be as complex as the markets themselves. But finding a simple trading system capable of filtering out all the noise and extracting gold from the all of raw market data can take years of frustrating and expensive trial and error. Unless, that is, you have a wise and patient mentor like Peter Pham. My guest today, Peter Pham, is the author of The Big Trade, Simple Strategies for Maximum Market Returns, and an expert consultant in global equities with more than 12 years of experience in all aspects of capital markets. He has held senior positions at several respected brokerage and investment firms and worked with some of the world's largest international funds. In this podcast, Peter shares his trading insights as well as his journey in the big trade. Regardless you're a beginner or someone who is already equipped with some sort of trading skill, Peter shares how through years of testing, analysis and practice he arrived at the principles and practices that form the basis of his trading system. Tell us more about the big trade. Well, um, the book is actually my journey of being in capital markets from both a proprietary trading perspective to a sell-side analyst perspective to an institutional sales perspective. And trying to uh, provide as much um, kernels of, of wisdom that I've been taught over over the last um, 13 years or so. So I've always in some shape or form been affiliated with capital markets. Uh, it's effectively a passion of mine that I grew and I, I talk about that quite diligently um, in the big trade. So wh- what, what I did is I wanted to t- discuss about the trials and tribulations that you experience when, when you first start. Uh, many people call it your tuition money. When you're basically looking to find an edge in the market, you'll probably try to clamor and grab every single possible book, every single possible video, every single possible blog that is in existence. Um, the unfortunate thing is that even for an industry that is very much oriented towards uh, providing as much information and data possible, there is still a lot of noise and still a lot of art towards understanding um, stocks and stock movements and, and trading opportunities. Can you tell us more about uh, the big trade concept? The term in itself called technical gives people the, the, the understanding that it must be very much a science when it very much is more of an ambiguous art. Now, the big trade is all about simple use of arithmetics and much more focused towards quantitative analytics to try to identify interesting probabilities. So probably one of the the nicest examples, the most elegant ones that I can provide is to imagine yourself on um, Times Square, for example, and you going there for about 100 times. How many times when you're on Times Square, will you go into the local Starbucks? Now, by just counting that sample, let's say you go into Starbucks 50 times. So out of the 100 times that you went on Times Square, only 50 of those times, you actually go into Starbucks, which means there's basically a 50% probability that every time I go on Times Square, I will be in Starbucks. Use that very same analogy and very simple arithmetic and statistics to apply that to the movement of a stock. How many times does a stock go up a dollar right off the open? And what is the probability that it will go up two dollars sometime during the day? That is something that you can apply to every single stock or commodity in this world. And it's something that can be applied in any time frame, be it on like a minute chart, a five minute chart, a 30 minute chart, a daily chart, a weekly chart, a monthly chart, a quarterly chart, 
or a yearly chart. And you can do it, and I can do it, and the probabilities are exactly the same. There's some statistical significance to using those very same principles. Can anybody without a trading background use this concept? Do they need any tools to start? You just kind of need an elementary school education, and you'll probably start to be really good in the stock market. The only tools that you'll probably need is something like a simple spreadsheet uh, that most computers have today. And as long as you have a simple computer and some access to the internet to extract open, high, low, and closed data, and to be able to tabulate that onto a spreadsheet, you're suddenly able to identify some high probability opportunities with your elementary school math um, to, to be able to trade the stock market. So based on your experience, is this the kind of tools that most savvy traders use? In terms of a lot of the lingo um, that a lot of the professional proprietary traders use, the, the answer is undoubtedly yes. Thanks for sharing. Thank you very much.